Good. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. Welcome to my living room. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty living room. I Thank think you. it's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, my parents signed it. Yeah? They have pretty signatures. They do. Yeah, I know. They look they look they signed a lot of guitars. Yeah, they did. Well, they're very musical. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Talk to me, man. I, I know that you're working hard on the album, and um, yeah. you're just getting over the 30 days of Dash, which was <laughs> pretty cool on your website. So, um, how's it going? What's what's the uh, ETA? Uh, the ETA. Well, the album's practically done. Okay. Uh, we have 11 songs right now. I just wrote a bunch of other songs. My producer wants me to go in and okay. record them, and see if one of them is going to make it on the album to make it 12 songs. Okay. Um, but besides for that, it's all done, and we have, I guess, a plan to go to radio sometime at the beginning of next year, okay. uh, with the first single, whatever that may be, and we may still come out with an EP, but we may just release a couple singles and then release a full album too. It's really dependent on uh, when it's right to release the album, whether it's with a major label, which would be, would, could be great. Or if it's with, I don't know, uh, if we get a good publisher on board, you know, I never know what's going to happen. Right, right. But I plan on uh, getting some getting some movement like mid February, okay. playing a bunch of shows in L. A. and um, you know, being on par for that. So I mean, w when you were going in, um, were you were you planning on the EP first, like, and then you had so many songs that you were really happy with that you're like, f it, let's just do a full length. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, so we were planning on the EP first because we just wanted to get some music out to everybody. I want to get music out. So does Jack, uh, he's the producer. And it's just really hard because, you know, when you're in the middle of getting together four songs for an EP or five songs for an EP and then you kind of neglect the other songs, uh, then you work on the other songs, you could be, you figure out something about them and you can bring those, that goodness, that greatness that you found there onto the other songs on the EP which you already released, it kind of kind of cuts you off in terms of creativity. So it's really good to get everything done as a as a full work. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is now that it's done, we're so close to where we need to be, uh, we don't want to rush anything. We want to do it at the exact right moment. It's hard to be successful. This, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I would like to have my best shot and he thinks my best shot is just Waiting a little bit longer, but it won't be too much longer. It's going to be uh, new music will be released within like the next six months at least, uh, because I want to be have new music out by March, April, at least, and um, be back on tour uh, by latest summer of 2015, and I'm hoping hopefully doing a really great tour that everybody can. Come on, it's a little frustrating, like waiting for it, because you've probably been living with these songs for a while. Just it's just extremely picking, really. yeah, just picking the right <laughs> moment to get it out. Then you just hit, you hit it on the net. You want to leak? Should we leak it right now? You want to leak the songs? Let's, let's leak everything. I think that I might get shot. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I'm gonna leak. But I get shot because I'll, I'll do it. So I'll send it to you later, and then you yeah. can send it out, and then you can it. get shot later. That's fine. And if if you if you're dead though, they can't get come back to me. Boy, what a hell of an interview this will be, though. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> People will come back and be like, wow, I he know, was such I a know. dick. I know, um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right, so you have new music coming out, that's great. And you mentioned LA, are you based in LA now? Or you... Yeah, I just okay. moved there. Okay. I just moved there. I needed to get out of the coldness of New York before it hit. You know, I just didn't want to be Smart here man. For, the, for the seasonal depression craziness. Smart man. Yeah, uh, but. Um, so I'm living out there, and it's really great for writers out there, actually. It's, it's, you know, I've been meeting a lot of songwriters out there and writing with them, and uh, I've never actually did a co-write until I moved out there. So, uh, Who did you co-write with? Um, I'm just curious. There's, there's a girl, so I, I just toured with the Janoskians, mm -hmm. and the Blush Girls are the girls that opened for me on it, and uh, one of them, Angeli, said she had never written before, and she wanted to know how to write, so I showed her how to, like, I gave her, like, a lesson in writing, and it ended up coming out to be a great song, and, uh, so she came over another time, because I wanted to have another writing session, and, you know, it's really, her presence kind of really helped push the song along, 
it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of different having someone in the room and you're like, you have to go it right now. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Instead of like, you're in your own head and you never know if you have it right or not and you kind of get stuck somewhere. You can't get stuck if someone's sitting in front of you pushing you along. Right. Yeah. You said the blush girls, right? Yeah. Because I had that on the show. Too. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. um, there's four of them now, right? Yeah, she's from, Angeli's from the Philippines. Right. They're all sweet. Mm -hmm. They're very nice girls. Yes. Cool. I like them. Yeah, I think, I don't know what's happening with them, though, with their music. They're in Hong Kong, I think, right now. Yeah? I think so. Don't worry, I'll cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so, this week in Blush. I know, um, okay. All right, cool, man. So, so listen, um, you know, <laughs> so we'll start this right, right again. Um, all right, cool, man. So, uh, where where can we keep up with you to, to find out when the album that you really want out right now is going to come out later? <laughs> right, exactly. Well, uh, you guys can keep up with me at my on my Twitter at Eric F Dash. Uh, you can it's it's the same it's the same handle same for Facebook, for Instagram, for for everything. If everybody follows me at that handle. Be, Smart be man. Yeah. If no they, different if, handles if you, with this you, guy. If you look up Eric Dash, it's usually someone that is just a another Eric Dash that's saying, "Hey, who's this Eric Dash that's filling up my feed? Stop posting really? pictures of this random teeny bopper guitarist." <laughs> Whatever, because they're, they're... Why wouldn't that other Eric Dash want I, I don't know, but then his friends... This is on Instagram. Then his friends are like, he looks a lot cooler than you, dude. Uh, <laughs> so it's a funny... It's like... A, my so I suck at other Eric Dash. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but but those are the uh, good places, I guess, to find me. And I, I will be posting about it as soon as possible. And the record is actually going to be called Heartstring Sleeves. Nice. So, uh, yeah. I always talk about tugging on my heartstrings with a girl is a really, you know, affecting me emotionally, so, okay. you know what I mean, that kind of fits my whole persona. Nice. And again, just suck at other Eric Dash. Right, right. No, he's a, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, <laughs> well, listen, he's not going to Google it, unless he Googles himself, <laughs> hey, well, he then probably, he's a real douche. Maybe he, maybe he Googles himself. You never know. Do you Google yourself other Eric Dash? Maybe he does. Do you? <laughs> Do you? You're not Eric F. Dash, though, so just to keep that, keep that out. Should we just wait and see if he Googles? Yeah, just, just go ahead. I don't have a watch. Well, thanks for coming, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me, John. Appreciate it.